analysts, political commentators, professors and politicians themselves all trying to predict who is going to win an election. But did you know that Fayetteville is actually home to a group of some of the best political fortune tellers? We're taking you inside a Northwest Arkansas startup that shows us how these 20-somethings are accurately forecasting how the U.S. will vote. Facebook lets you catch up with friends from high school. Twitter gives you 140 characters to tweet to your favorite celebrity. Instagram shows you what everyone did over the weekend. Millions of us use these social media sites every single day. But beyond socializing, these sites provide stats to predict outcomes at the polls. Not talk, action. This is Bush country. World Trade Center came He's down to all brothers. The and the folks on this fact-finding mission Bernie Sanders in Arkansas. are right here in Fayetteville, Arkansas. And we had the idea that you, know, you could really use social data as this kind of everyday focus group. Ryan Frazier and two others co-founded DataRank. And from 9 to 5, they track product trends for corporate vendors. But after hours, the company is creeping on your posts. The web wizards search for what you are saying about the 2016 election, all to guess the outcome. And they're seeing success. From looking at the data just overall. DataRank almost perfectly predicted the outcome of the last general election, almost in the 90th percentile. And it's all based on who and what you are talking about online. Last election cycle, we really kind of thought that social data and people talking about you know, who they might be endorsing or voting for could be used as kind of this everyday exit poll. How do they do it? Well, a couple of ways. First, they write a query. They tell their machines what kind of comments to look for online. Then those machines take that query and run it through tens of thousands of websites where they are looking for mentions of candidates. They're also downloading every comment with that mention on social media. So we could monitor who people are talking about the most and then also the sentiment associated with those candidates. You know, are they talking more positively or negatively? Data rank analysts are looking over hundreds of comments and posts every single day. So how can they tell if hashtag Donald Trump is in a positive or a negative light? Well, first, it comes down to an algorithm. Second, it's about these guys. One thing that we kind of do to improve sentiment is we actually look at emoji and emoticons, which is fairly new. We're not just analyzing the text of the comment, but we're also looking at, you know, are they using these other indicators that might tell us, okay, this is sarcasm, or they feel one way or another. So who does data rank predict our Kansans are going to pick for president? Donald Trump pulls about one in three comments. Maybe as a conflict of interest. Yeah, Donald Trump gets about 35% of the political conversation in Arkansas alone. Followed by Hillary Clinton, actually. She's number two, more than any of the other Republican candidates, actually. But even with that data and the brains behind it, these guys say it's way too early to tell who's going to take over the White House. I wouldn't call it for any individual person right now. It's hard to tell what people are talking about a candidate like this, especially when you have so many candidates. So this is the moment they said would never happen. Because at the end of the day, you're tracking people's intentions with social data, and it can give you a pretty good idea direction of what's going to happen. And thanks so much to Ryan and Evan for sitting down with me and letting me tell their story. Well, Data Rank actually tracks more than just candidates. It also looks at the issues that we are talking about on social media. The company tells me that the biggest talkers right now are education, health care, and business. But what's not getting traction? Child care and entitlements. Always super interesting there.